Well, turning now to our other top story tonight, we're learning more about the hit and run crash that killed Nevada State Troopers Sergeant Michael Abate and Trooper Alberto Felix. The suspect, 46 year old Jamarcus Williams, was in court today. Here's Jay Wan Jung with the compelling evidence police say was found in his car. As the public continues to mourn the loss of the two Nevada State Troopers killed in a hit and run crash last week, we're learning new details about the Nevada State Police badge found in the suspect's car. Flowers, trinkets and notes fill the hood of this Nevada State Police Trooper tribute vehicle. It was left as a memorial at NSP headquarters for the public to honor Sergeant Michael Abate and Trooper Alberto Felix. It hurts. And the whole community right now is hurting. The two state troopers were killed last Thursday when police say a drunk driver crashed into them and left the scene. It happened on I-15 near the exit of D Street, where the troopers were standing on the side of the road helping another driver. The suspect, 46-year-old Jamarcus Williams, is facing felony and misdemeanor charges, including reckless driving and DUI resulting in death. He appeared before Judge Joe Bonaventure in district court Tuesday morning. Is your true name? Jamarcus Williams? Yes, Your Honor. In a brief hearing, Williams was appointed public defenders Michael Yohei and Anna Clark. The two attorneys telling me after the hearing, Williams plans to plead not guilty. A, a plea negotiation is not off the off the uh, the table at this point. David Roger is the former Clark County District Attorney. He says defendants will typically enter a not guilty plea unless the case is negotiated before going into trial. And that is to keep the process going where they can get police reports, uh, conduct their investigation and gather evidence to determine what course of action would be appropriate for, for the defendant. On Monday, Channel 13 obtained Williams arrest report revealing a Nevada State Police badge was found inside his vehicle. Metro has confirmed the badge belongs to Sergeant Michael Abate. They say it's separated from him during the collision. Williams is scheduled to be back in court January 30th for a preliminary hearing. In the Southwest Valley, I'm Jay Wan Jung.